Hi, my name is Fernando, and I'm a technical marketing manager here at GitLab. Today, I'm going to show you how to integrate WhiteSource with GitLab. WhiteSource for GitLab empowers developers to find and fix open source vulnerabilities. It uses WhiteSource tools for dependency scanning on one GitLab central UI. Security professionals are provided with actionable insights, making vulnerabilities easier and less costly to fix. Here's the repository which I have added white source dependency scanning to. Let's take a look at requirements.txt. Here we can see a bunch of different requirements which are needed for the project. White source for GitLab automatically scans the default branch for any vulnerabilities related to dependency scanning. It automatically creates issues for each dependency. Clicking on an issue will give you lots of detail on how to resolve it. The name of the issue is the CVE name as well as where it was detected. When clicking on the Vulnerable Library tab, we can see details on what the library actually does as well as where it is located. The Vulnerability Details tab provides us an insight as to what the vulnerability actually causes. It provides a link to the White Source Vulnerability page, giving us detailed information on the CVE. The score details section gives us an overview of how confidentiality, integrity, and accessibility are affected. The suggested fix provides details on resolving the vulnerability. Some issues provide a checkbox that allow the vulnerability to be auto-remediated. WhiteSource for GitLab also integrates with merge requests. In the merge request, you can see all the new vulnerabilities introduced as well as the ones which were resolved. The vulnerabilities also include a severity level assigned by white source. If you click on a vulnerability, you'll be provided with more detailed information. White source also integrates with GitLab's security dashboard. This is where security professionals have a complete overview of the security of a project. You can see all the vulnerabilities detected within the master branch. You can also sort by severity and report type. When clicking on a vulnerability, you'll be provided with a description, the project that was found in, an identifier linking you to the CVE, its severity, and links on how to resolve it. From the pop-up, you can create a confidential issue this allows developers and the security team to collaborate on a resolution that cannot be found immediately. The vulnerability can also be dismissed along with a comment as to why it was dismissed and who dismissed it. The security team will have full access to this information for auditing purposes. Here's a few things we've learned about white source for GitLab. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. For more information, visit about.gitlab.com. Here at GitLab, everyone can contribute.